Dear students, uh, this uh, lecture is about uh, financial system. This is the third lecture. Uh, system. Uh, we will begin with the structure of financial markets, the functions of financial markets, the internationalization of financial markets, the types of financial intermediaries and the functions of financial intermediaries. Uh, uh, this is the uh, third lecture uh, uh, where we, we will uh, cover the first three points, the structure of financial markets, the functions of financial markets and internationalization of financial markets. So the structure of financial markets. Uh, according to ownership, financial markets could be categorized into debt markets to represent borrowing claims in the firm and equity markets represents equity claims in the firm. Uh, uh, this categorization is uh, about own is according to ownership. The second categorization is according to issuing. Uh, primary markets were new security issues uh, sold to initial buyers, through which is called IPOs, initial public offerings. Uh, and secondary markets where securities previously issued are bought and sold. Uh, according to ownership, uh, according to issuing, and according to term, we have money markets uh, deal with short term securities where the maturity uh, is less than one year and the capital markets deal with long-term securities where maturity uh, is greater than one year. Uh, so uh, uh, the structure of uh, financial markets uh, uh, should uh, cover the categorization according to the ownership, according to the issuing, and according to the term. Uh, this uh, is the first uh, point in this lecture, uh, structure of uh, financial markets. And one is very important one, which is about functions of financial markets. Functions of financial markets. Here we have two parties, the lenders or savers, and the borrowers or spenders. The lenders uh, could be house Holds business firms, governments, or foreigners. The borrower uh, could be business firms, government, household, or foreigners. But the lender. Uh, 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 may uh, take the indirect finance to find the borrower or uh, contact with the borrower through the direct finance. Through indirect finance, here we have the financial intermediaries which uh, receive uh, funds from the lender uh, and uh, borrow the 
بروز. This is the first way through indirect finance. Through direct finance, savers or investor may buy financial claims in the financial markets to be uh, available to the borrower. Uh, this is the uh, second point, which is about functions of financial markets. Uh, functions of uh, financial markets are uh, important. The importance of financial markets is due to the uh, to the functions. What are these functions? They are uh, critical for producing an efficient allocation of capital, allowing funds to move from people who lack productive investment opportunities to people who have them. It's the first aspect of importance. And the second one, they also improve the well-being of consumer, allowing them to time their purchase better. Um, the first one is about the efficient allocation of a capital, and the uh, second one is about the well-being of consumers. Uh, the third point is about internationalization of financial markets. Through the international financial market, the internationalization of uh, markets is important trend. So international financial markets include international bond market, euro currency market, and the world stock market. Uh, in this lecture, we have uh, covered uh, three main uh, points in the field of financial market. Uh, the types of financial markets, the importance of financial markets, and the internationalization of financial markets. Uh, let's uh, review uh, a very important point which I have mentioned in the uh, second lecture. Uh, when I told you that financial, mar financial system uh, has three main components financial markets, financial institutions, and financial claims. The three points we have covered in this lecture were about financial markets, the first component of financial system. Uh, so much. And the, the fourth lecture will be about the financial institutions or the financial intermediaries. Thank you again. Okay.